Right folks, I'm just about to head off for a stealth camp on my new Hemiway e-bike. You know it makes total sense. Right. So welcome back to the Blot Outdoor Show guys. Yeah, back out on another stealth camp. It's Saturday night and I'm gonna to have to be really stealthy tonight because I'm using this an absolutely fantastic e-bike that's been kindly given to me from the guys at Himiwea. It's the new Himiwea Zebra. It's really simple to use. I'm not technically minded guys. Simple control panel there tells you your speed you've got your different settings there one to five you know if you want to go slow or you want to go fast you've got your gears five speed gears up and down really simple you've got your throttle there i don't want to pull that yet because the bike's going to take off i'm not going to bang on about it too much at this point guys i'll tell you more about it later on in the video because this is all about stealth camping serious stealth camping the place i'm looking to camp at is about another five minute ride down the road I'm going to come to a really busy road where there's all sorts there. KFC, Burger King, um, Starbucks. It's a really, really busy place. Traffic lights, there's cars all over. Over the road is like a McDonald's and next door to the McDonald's is like a building merchants. Down the side of the building merchants, there's loads of bushes and there's a gap just small enough for me to get through. It might be a bit of a struggle with this and obviously I'm getting recognised quite a bit now with the challenge doing well, so this is going to be a challenge, guys. Um, aye, how are we then? Let's get going, and I'll see you mandingos when we get down to the main road. You better believe I will. Ah. So that's where I'm heading, folks, in that direction. Down there, round the corner, over the road. But before we get down the busy road, I'll show you a couple of more things. It's starting to get dark now, so I've got the lights on there. Easy flick of the switch on there for the light. And I've got this as well, the travel trunk. I've got all my gear in there, well most of it. I've got my rucksack on, in my rucksack. I've got my tent and... Um, my cooking stove and a few other bits and pieces in here. I've got my sleeping bag, my foil mat that I put down, my hat, my gloves. In here, I've got me my mattress. Oh God, loads of stuff. Everything I need for my camp. In there, I've got me waski, my candingos, my food, my snacks. So yeah, in this travel trunk. And in my rucksack, I've just here managed to get everything I need for tonight's stealth camp. I'm telling you that now because it's getting dark soon. And when I get over there, I'm going to be in a bush and it's right next to a path. And I'm going to have to keep really quiet. I don't know if there's going to be anyone around. So I thought I'd just tell you right now what gear I've got. When I get over there, you'll see. You'll see when I'm emptying all my stuff out. And you can see how much of a tight squeeze it's been getting everything in. Anyway guys, we're going to make a move for it in a couple of minutes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fasten the camera back on the bike. And when I'm making my way over the road, you will see what I'll see is the bikes driving into the camping spot. Right, <laughs> let's go for it and fingers crossed I don't get spotted. How are you? Here we go, Mandingos.
I am some evil Knievel. Right, there's a couple of cars just there at the traffic light, so I'm just going to hang fire and let them get past. I don't want them watching us and seeing us going right into my spot. If you know what I'm talking about, man, dingoes. Go. There's the building merchants over the road there. Yep, he's the building merchant here. That's shut, so that's a good thing. And this is where I'm this is where I'm looking to get guys in these bushes. Obviously, I don't want anyone to see us. So I'm just standing here pretending I'm checking my phone. And when I think the course is clear, we'll try and get through these bushes. I'm just gonna have a quick look, see where the best gap is. Oh, then. No one around. Let's get in, man, dingoes. Let's get in before I get spotted. Oh, yes. This is the way. The way of the man, dingo. Oh, yes. And you know it makes sense. Ah. That's it, guys. We're in. We're in the camping spot. I'll get this camera off in a minute and I'll give you a proper look about. There was one car behind us at the traffic lights and I didn't want to wait any longer in case more came. So I've took a gamble on that person wasn't looking and that person doesn't know who we are. Just having a look inside here. Because sometimes even though, you know, the business is shut, you can get people still working in the yard you know what I'm talking about guys anyway let's get this bag off Ugh, choking myself oh that's a bit kinky isn't it <laughs> right I'll bring you back in a second <laughs> than my fansexuals. It's not the best spot here for putting a tent up. The ground seems very gravelly and hard and I might have a bit of a chew on getting the old tent dingo up. Man dingoes, as they say in the Dudonski. So I'm looking now and I'm thinking I've got about half an hour left and it's going to be pitch black. There's plenty of street lights. So, hopefully, you know, when it's fully dark, I can still see a little bit. I think I will be a little. So, right, I'm going to get the tent up now. I'm going to do my best to get the tent up. And damn. Um, Aye, do you want to see us unpack all my shit? I might as well show you and you can see, you can see how good I've done stuffing all my gear into this travel trunk. Bring you back in a second. Ricicles. Right guys, as you can see, I've got my tent up. 
It's not the best job I've ever did. Little ding dang do for this man, Dingo. You better believe it, Will. I so I had the tent in this bag. I've also got my seat, which I'm gonna set up down there so I can sit and chill with a few candingos and talk shite to you, absolute legends. I've got my little pots and pans. I need to keep the noise down. What's that? I think it might be the old glove of self-love. Um, right. And in that pocket there, I've got all my electricals, like my power bank, my chargers, head torch, shit like that. I'll not get them out yet. I've got to be really careful because there's about two metres of bushes here and then there's a path that goes down and like I've said you've got Burger King and KFC over the road so it'll be quite busy for people passing by anyway let's have a look in here and see what I've packed in so I've got my warm hat for later because it's starting to get a little bit chilly now on the night time and my gloves, my pillars in there I've got my foil mat the old mat goss so we'll get there in the tent now Sleeping bag, two season sleeping bag, that's all I need, but it won't be long. We'll have to get the four season one out. Put that down there. Right, that's all that's in there. I'll zip that up in case it rains, because obviously I don't want to get them soaked and wet inside. Let's have a look in this one. Can you tell what it is yet? <laughs> Right, I've got my down jacket, nice warm jacket for later on, in that little bag. Gas bottle, cook some scran dingo later on man dingoes, that's the plan dingo. Me mattress, you know, me, me air bed, so I can have a nice comfy night's sleep. You better believe it. And in there, I've got me down trousers and down slippers. That's going to keep me legs and me feet nice and warm during the night if the temperature does drop. I haven't worn them. I haven't worn them for ages because it's been like really warm and stuffy. But you never know. Tonight might be the night when I've got to put them back on. Um, let's have a look in here. Like you see, Himmy Way, where they haven't just been kind sending me this bike, they also sent us this travel trunk, which is like an extra £120, I think, something like that. I'll tell you more about the bike later on, you know, the price of it and other bits and pieces. Oh, yes, I've got some Irish Waski, the busker, kindly given to me from John and Beth. Cheers, John and Beth. I will certainly do a waski with you on that later on. You better believe I will. The old famous cup dingo with me little stove. Um, me little knife and fork set. Four, th four hands. Four cans. <laughs> Four cans of Thatcher's Hayes Outdoors. Good old Hazy. Snacks, pork pies. Bill Tong, kindly given to me 
from Brown's Biltong. Um, it's absolutely tremendous. I've had none of them for, for a while because they've been totally sold out, but now they're back in stock. This is the best Biltong on the market for me, guys. Really tasty, guys. So if you want to buy some Biltong online, check out the link I'll leave in the description for Brown's Biltong. You know it makes sense. Italian salami. Nice biscuits. They're not called nice. They're called nice. Aye, why aye, mate. Um, and I've got my main meal in there, which I'll show you very soon, guys. Well, there you go. I'm oh, nearly falling over again. I'm going to sort all my shit out, pour my airbed in and my sleeping bag and everything, and I'll bring you legends back in a couple of minutes. You better believe I will. Right. Okay, the man dingoes. I've just been sitting chilling, having a nice can of Thatcher's Hayes. I'm gonna have another one in a second. Quick look in here, same as usual, guys. Foil mats down. Um, you know, all my bits and pieces, my bag, and that's there. Bin diesel of all my rubbish. There's me sleeping pad, sleeping bag, pillar, all I carry on. Loads of young'uns over there singing. Fingers crossed they don't have to come over here and disturb me. That's the last thing I want. They'll get that. They'll get the collar felt. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, guys. I saw all me bits of shite down there. Me snacks, me waski, me candingos. For my main meal. I've got a nice tin of Prince's Chicken Kerry and ho oh, ho oh, yes mandingos you know who's back in town Uncle Bensky Bates International Playboy Bunny Bar Insurance a British cast price of far too high in lifetime achievement award to the rich and famous after party people in the house of Love Shark Baby Shark Attack on Bondi Beach oh yes Right. I need to keep the noise down. I think I'm going to have some Bill Cosby. I mean, Bill Tong. Barbecue flavour. 
this is a new flavour from Browns. Oh my god. Absolutely hmm, tremendous. A million times better than Surf Strom and Stinky Fish. Hmm. Cheers, guys. Right. <laughs> Loads of young and hanging around. I'm going to turn the camera off. Make sure the coast is clear before I start talking some more shit. Mice. Okay then my pal dingoes, it's time to crack open another can dingo and talk some more shite. You better believe that's the plan dingo, man dingoes. Oh yes. Right. It's just starting to get a little bit chilly now. I think I'll be putting the old down jacket on soon, guys. Keep me nice and warm. Aye. Um, I'm just gonna waffle some shite. I love it, you know. I've said this a few times before, guys. All the one by myself, it makes me feel like you absolute legends are here with me and I'm sitting having a having a chat with you. So, uh, go and get yourself a drink, get yourself a can, or a waski, or a gin, or vodka, whatever you like, and sit and listen to me waffle on. I, the last time I'd done a, an e-bike camp, I think it was like November last year, this fantastic company, Hemiway, they sent me a bike before, a Hemiway Cruiser, which I give to my son, Preston. If you're watching Preston, I love your son. Aye. It was a little bit too big for him. But, bloody hell, he shot up over this last few months. He's taller than Mrs. Blot now. Not quite as tall as me, but I think this time next year, he'll be taller than me. But I, the bike was a little bit too big for him. But, yeah, he'd be okay to ride it now. But Mrs. Blotter, she's a she's a right worrier. And um I think I've mentioned this before. My son's got like he's well, he's autistic, but only like, you know I don't even know if I'm saying this right. Only like very slightly. He still goes to normal school and you know, and he's doing really well. He's a he's the best he's the best son you could ask for. But my wife really worries about him. So when Himmy we go in touch with us and uh, ask me if I would like to do another review on an e-bike, well, I jumped at the chance and I got this one, you know, with like the bar going downwards, which is more suitable for a woman, for a lady. Ooh, I'm a lady. I do ladies things. <laughs> 
Right. So a fantastic Mrs. Blot can use this now and she can go out with me son Preston on the e-bikes. Because she's a worrier and she wouldn't let him go out on it by himself in case he hurt himself because he is very clumsy. So I'm over the moon. You know what? I can't afford to be buying this kind of thing. So yeah, Mrs. Blot and my son Preston, they can now go out on the e-bikes. Some things you just can't turn down, guys. Honestly, I get offered, I get offered stuff all the time, every week, two or three times a week. Loads of Chinese stuff. <sighs> Too many things to even name. Just this last week, I've been offered like a, like an air pump to blow your mattress up. Well, I've just bought like a flex tail one, which I haven't even used yet. So. I didn't want to take, I don't want to take things that's not going to benefit us just for the sake of being greedy and then you've got to review it all the time and it's a burden. You guys don't want to see people just like see me reviewing shit, you know. I also got offered this, this big power pack thing, like a, like a generator where it doesn't make a noise. So say like if I went off and done a camp in the van, you know, a good old van camp. It's got enough energy stored, you know, for charging all your stuff for a few days. I think you could plug like a little TV in or a heater. But um, I've turned it down because and I, it was like £1,300 as well, this power pack. And even though it costs that much, I don't want it because it's just not something I'm, it's not something I'm after. So I'm not just going to take something for no reason but things like this which my wife and my son can use and obviously I'll use it as well you know I'll go out on a on more camps the bonnie lads might want to join us sometime one of the Chris's little Mick last year last year when I got the e-bike I had people saying why don't you get little Mick to join you on a bike ride well no disrespect to Mick, I love little Mick, you know, he's a, he's a hell of a lad. Pardon me, and I can't wait for him to come back out on another camp. But Mick can't ride one of these, he's they're too big for him, you know. But, funny enough, I was in Halfords with Mrs. Blot a couple of days ago, or as Mrs. Blot says, Halfords, because she says everything wrong. Um, when we were in there, I noticed like, you know them things, you attach on to the back of the e-bike and it's like a, like a bubble thing where you can get a couple of little kiddies in. It was £150, I nearly bought it, but um, I think I'm going to go back and buy it. That would be absolutely tremendous. Tremendous. <laughs> that would be absolutely tremendous. And I think you guys would love that video. Me riding the e-bike with little schmick riding along you know i don't even know what they're called like a like a buggy you know like a buggy thing or a trailer like a like a trailer that attaches to the back that would be absolutely hilarious with little mick in the trailer mick's kind of stocky you know he's he's pretty stocky but it was like a two-seater for two kids so that would be ideal for mick's juicy arse to fit inside you know what i'm talking about guys i See, I told you I was going to talk a load of shite. Once I start talking, guys, once I've had a few cans. Oh, very nice. Thatcher's here's outdoors. Aye. So, yeah, that is a video I've got planned for a few weeks' time, guys. I think it'll be an absolute cracker. Another e-bike camp, but little Schmick will be joining me. I'll be riding the bike and Schmick... He'll be riding along in the trailer. Oh yes, you know the total sense, man, dingoes. <laughs> right. Oh, matron.
Oh. Time for a little chess warmer. Oh, yes. You know it makes total sense. Mandingos. Licicles. Cheers, guys. Ho, ho, yes, Mandingos. You know what I'm talking about. And you know it makes total sense. Well, guys, I'm just going to have a little quick chat about the Himiwea Zebra e-bike before we settle down and do the world-famous Waski Review. Oh, yes. Okay, then. If you are looking at buying an e-bike, guys, one of these bad boys, it's going to set you back about, round about, £1,700. <whistles> yes, I know, that seems like a lot of money. But for a bike of this quality, it's not actually that much money. Similar bikes, you know, with the same quality, the same spec, the same standard, is going to set you back a good three grand, even more. I don't know why, but Himiwea, the prices are quite low for such quality. I've been dealing with these guys for like six months now when they give us the other e-bike. And I've got to say, their customer service is second to none. They're an absolute top quality company to deal with. So if you are looking at investing in an e-bike, in an e-bike guys get your words out Chris hear me where that's the place to go these are the ones to, to deal with guys it's absolute top quality I'm going to leave a link for these for hear me where not just for this bike obviously this is the bike I've got today the hear me where zebra it's fantastic but I'll leave a link for their company in the description of this video like I've already said earlier on, I've also got the Himiwea Cruiser, which is an absolutely fantastic bike. So yeah, I'll leave a link for this bike. But when you're on their website, you can check out the other Himiwea bikes as well. And you'll be surprised at how good they are and the price, you know, compared to other companies where the prices are absolutely sky high. The Himiwea bikes, are a, they're a fair price for a top quality e-bike you know what i'm talking about mandingos and you know it makes absolute total sense there you go now we're going to settle down and we're going to do a world famous waski review very soon check out the link in the description of this video guys for himmy wear e-bikes you better believe it lice Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh, yes, man, dingoes. You know what time it is. Waski time. And this is what we've got this week. 
the Busca. Irish Waski. Kindly given to me from John and Beth. Cheers, John and Beth, my man and woman man friend. Very much appreciated. You know it makes sense. Well, let's get this popped in. The old famous cup dingo. Man dingoes. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> let's get the old bigger Rooney in it. Ooh, like a very zesty tropical thing going on, guys. Mm hmm. Little bit barley. But a definite, a definite tropical fruit thing going on. A very good start, guys. Anyway, that's enough of the sniffing. Let's get on with the tasting. Nice. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting that tropical thing there, guys. There's like a like a mango fruity thing going on there. Mm -hmm. Like a tropical mango with a, a little taste of a pineapple. It's very smooth. Yeah, there's no harshness at all about it. I tell you what, if you're looking at getting into waskies and you watch my whiskey review, you know, and you're thinking, oh God, I'd love to join in on the Mandingo on the old world famous Waski review, but I don't really like whiskey. This could be the one for you guys, the Busker. It is going down so smooth, it's unbelievable. Mm, yeah, like I've said, you've got that fruity, tropical thing going on. Mm -hmm. I'm also getting some like toffee, like a lovely toffee thing going on with a little bit of vanilla. No oak, I know you guys will be watching saying oak, oak, he's gonna say oak, no. No oak this time, guys. But a definite toffee and vanilla thing. That's very common in whiskies, you know. You'll watch and you'll see me say these things and you'll say, well, he's saying oak again, or he's saying toffee and he's saying vanilla. You will get these flavors quite a bit. In whiskies, it's very common. If you know what I'm talking about, mandingos, as they say, in the southeastern region of Mongolia. Oh, oh yes, you better believe they do. A lovely, zesty, zesty, tropical through fruit thing going on. Toffee, vanilla. like a nice like a nice barley taste yeah I tell you what it's a lovely little drop of waski this it is absolutely top quality I hadn't even heard of this I hadn't even heard of this until this lovely couple bought me this bottle mmm Oh, I tell you what, in the aftertaste now, I'm getting a lovely milk chocolate. No, I'll see it's a more of a, like a dark chocolate thing going on, not milk chocolate. Yeah, absolute quality, zesty fruity little bit barley and a nice dark 
chocolate aftertaste. Well, that's the first time I have had that. The busker, kindly given to me from a couple of legends by the name of John and Beth. Thank you so much, guys. Very much appreciated. I'm going to give that a very, very good 9.1 out of 10 dingo man dingoes oh yes you better believe i am down the hatch mm. <coughs> boom <laughs> you know what i'm talking about this is serious stealth cabin oh, ho, ho, ho. rice okay then my fan sexuals it's time to get in the old ten dingo mandingos. It's one o'clock in the morgan. Come on, I've got no more drink left. We have done the world famous waski with you. Oh yes, you know what I'm talking about, mandingos. Right. I'm going to get my shoes off. I'm going to get in the old sleeping bag. I'm getting a bit peckish. So we're going to cook me chicken curry and egg fried lysicles. You better believe I am. <laughs> Disaster has struck, guys. The old pansexual fell off the stove. And spilt the curry. No worries, though. No worries. The old pansexual. The old pansexual. Pansexual. Sexual. Uncle Bensky Bates International Playboy Bonnie Boy Insurance with British gas price the far too high on lifetime achievements watch. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Hmm. Rice. Okay, folks. Time for some scrandingo, mandingos. Oh yes. Oh yes, man, dingoes. Time to get some food. A very late supper. It's another late one, guys. It's 2.30 in the morning. And I have got chicken curry. Mm. With egg fried lysicles. Absolutely tremendous. Mm. I tell you what, something so simple a packet of Uncle Bensky egg fried lice in a tin. Mm. Oh, that's red hot. A tin of Princess Chicken Curry. So quick, so simple, and really nice. That 
you don't have to be cooking fancy shit you don't have to be taking them absolute rip off camping meals that cost you about seven pound for something that won't even fill a hole in your tooth you know what I'm talking about manding was well what an absolutely fantastic stealth camp this has been tonight guys every week you know even though I've been doing this so long and the channel's been doing well for a good year or so I'm still nervous as hell every weekend I still chew myself I still think hey god what if no one likes this video and it's a pile of shite well then I overcome that and I think look just go out and do what you like to do do what you were doing before anyone was watching over a year ago no disrespect to anyone that's only started subscribing over the last 12 months I really do appreciate you guys I love you all thank you so much for watching but yeah sometimes I just have to think forget about how big the channel is get out there and just enjoy it and that's what I do that's what I like to do I get out and whether 500 people watch or 50,000 people watch oops this is what I like to do guys so if you like it Thank you so much. I will keep on going out and making these stealth cam videos. I'll never stop. Even if, for whatever reason, it's never going to happen. Because I don't do anything wrong. But even if I ever got kicked off YouTube, I couldn't make another video. I'd still come out and do this kind of thing because I would prefer to do this than be in a pub surrounded by a bunch of dickheads. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't say that. But you know what I'm talking about, Manding goes. This is what I like to do. Anyway, while I've got your attention and I'm sitting here doing a bit munching Gladback, on the old chicken and ricicles. I'm going to take this chance now to say a massive thank you to all you absolute, absolute total legends who have supported my channel over this last week. Honestly, guys, I really do appreciate. I know I say the same thing over and over again. But there's no other way to see it than you're an absolute bunch of legends. These are so kind. You don't have to do it. But I am so grateful that you do. Thank you so much. Each and every one of you is, is just unbelievable. That's what you are. You're unbelievable. And every one of you is, is a legend in my eyes. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, man, Dingo's. I've had a few drinks. I've had a few whiskeys. So I'm waffling on as usual guys but from the bottom of my heart thank you so much everyone that has supported the Blood Outdoor Show this last week. You're a legend and here's your names guys down there and down there. Thank you so much. If you want your names on there next week guys or the week after or whenever you know if you want to buy us a coffee, it's very much appreciated and you will get your names on there. You don't have to, like I say, you don't have to do that. I am just over the moon if you're watching this video or any video that I make. And if you leave a comment 
And if you give us a thumbs up, I am absolutely over, pardon me, over the moon with that. But if you have gone out your way, yes, you guys, you're a bunch of legends and it's very much appreciated. And this food, it's as dry as a nun's, it's as dry as a nun's crutch, I should say. I've got the hiccups. <laughs> It's only dry because I've spilled most of the curry on the floor. So it's pretty much all lice. But it still tastes nice. You better believe it does, Bandingos. Anyway, I'm going to finish the rest of this. I will see you in a few minutes. Good morning, Mandingos. Five to nine. I think I'm going to get up, get a quick slash Gordon, get packed away. Just started a rain. Just as I'm going to get out the tent and get packed away. At least the bike's there still. Uh, it would have took one sneaky thief to go in and take that leg. Right. I'm going to get up, get sorted. I'll bring you legends back in a few seconds. In a few seconds. Right. Okay then my fansexuals, that's me all packed away, as you can see, that's where I had the old Tendingo, the e-bike is ready to rock and roll, I've got my little Baghdad down there with some of my stuff in, I've got all the rest of my bits and pieces in there, bin diesel fastened on there with all my shite in. Look in there, there's a man just pulled up in the car park, but he's not taking any notice of me at all. So I'm gonna fasten my camera onto there guys. So when I'm leaving, you'll get a view from the old e-bike. Bring you back in a it. Right, here we go folks. Just pushing the bike out. Oh very heavy these e-bikes nothing to see here you guys just a fat bloke walking out the bushes with an e-bike you know what I'm talking about Okay guys, I'm nearly home now, so that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it, I've had a great time as usual. It's been absolutely class, great fun on the e-bike. I want to say thank you one more time to Hemiway 
for giving me this bike to review. Um, like I said, if you want to check out this bike or any other bikes that Hemiway make, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Well, if you've enjoyed it guys, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I do read everyone and I'll try and get back to as many people as possible. So that's it till next week guys. I'm going to get little Mick to come out with me during the week for my next foodie video. So join me and Mick next Friday. Friday. <laughs> join me and Mick next Friday for a food review and I'll be back out on another stealth camp. So join me next Sunday on some more serious stealth camping. You know what I'm talking about. Mice. Oh, uh, air